had to write this down because I didn't want to miss anything. When I think of John Witherspoon, I think of his energy. It warmed our hearts, it made us smile, it gave us all who knew him comfort. He was very special and so very humble. He was like an uncle to me, but super duper funny. <laughs> there was not one time that I was around him that we were not laughing. Like he was, he could go for days making me laugh. Whether it was a remark, his quick wit, or an uncanny sense of just being in the moment. I've done a lot of shows with John and We've always somehow bumped into each other in the airport, so I've had interesting moments on the road. I just want to tell you this one quick funny story. <laughs> um, we were all doing a show on the road, John, Kevin Hart, and myself, and we all got up, finished the show, and jumped in a limo. Now, we all laughing. Guys got drinks and everything. John was the only person that put on a seatbelt in the back of a limo. And we was like, old school, what are you doing? He was like, when the car crash, you niggas gonna be dead. <laughs> it was the funniest thing. And he wasn't playing. He double clicked it, click, click. <laughs> and everybody was like, John, you serious? He was like, okay, I'm gonna tell you right now. When they do the interview, they gonna say, how did the other people die? He was like, well, they didn't have the seatbelt on. Then me, Kevin Hart, and the other guys start click, 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 click. Because nobody wanted to die in the limo. And that's just sort of the energy that uh, John, oh my God. Recently, uh, Angela, my wife, and I, we all went to see uh, Reggie's movie. And we all went out afterwards, right? And you never know what John is going to say. You never know what he's going to say. So we're in this nice little, you know, bougie restaurant and uh, we're ordering like the, the highest volume of wine, right? John said, why are you spending all that money? Excuse me, lady, excuse me. How much is the cheapest wine you got? <laughs> she said, $7, that's what we're drinking. <laughs> Facts, I can't make this up. <laughs> Angela was like, John, stop it, John. But we were all on the floor. He was always looking out for the next man. Do you need anything? He would help me construct jokes. He would, you know, come, come by for wine, like I just told you. He was everybody that he knew's best friend. That was the energy that he gave. And when it comes to people, he always gave more of himself. He just made the time. He made everybody feel special. And for all the people that are here, when you look around the room, it's obvious that we feel the same. And as we move forward from this day, I feel like he gave us a lot. I mean, obviously, we would want more time, but I feel like a piece of him will be with each and every person in here forever. And in this moment, I thank God for the opportunity that I've had to have an angel who walked the earth put all this good energy on me and all the good energy on his family and all these friends. Can we just give a round of applause for John right now? Uh, so I'm just going to say this. As we move forward from this day, all we will have to do is think of Spoon, and I'm sure his spirit will soothe you and make you smile. Rest in paradise. Thank you. <laughs>